All right, so this is going to be a quick demonstration of using the crease tool in Maya, Autodesk Maya. Now, a video um, that I demonstrate using the Boolean tools um, can create you some really nice um, Boolean effects where you take a sphere and cut out a sphere into, say, a cube or something like that. Now, one of the things that you'll note is that currently, if I was to render this, it looks like this, which is true. And you know, you can see the wireframe on it as the wireframe flows through the model. And if I was to subdivide this and start to, to uh, look at it as it would if I was to smooth it, um, I have a couple options here. One is I can add edge loops to the geometry to pull and add tension to the edges of this object. So for instance, I can use my edge loop tool and I can start and add edge loops here to pull. Notice how the tension gets pulled farther and farther to the edges. I put in another wire here. The closer it is to the edge, the more tension I add. So if I wanted to pull these regions of this model closer and closer to the outer edge of the model, I would have to add more geometry, like I'm doing here. If I wanted to, to define this edge inside, I'd have to add more wires like this and like this to really pull and to pull and if I was to smooth this, you can see how the geometry gets um, um, smooth. How the geometry starts to get pulled more and more towards the towards the object as I divide these up into smaller and smaller parts. I get more and more divisions. Oops, let me see. Let me show what I did. I, I smoothed the edges and not the whole model. So let me back up. So I added, I'll add some edge loops. Uh, go back to my two level, secondary level, and then I'll add a ring there. So I'm going to go back to my object now. And I want to add smoothness to the entire object. Mesh and smooth. And now the whole object is being, is being smooth. And I can go here and I can see the divisions. And if I was to really uh, smooth this, notice that I get lots of divisions uh, where I put those edges here and around here. They get smaller and smaller. Uh, but the model ends up looking pretty good. Okay. The model ends up looking pretty good if I was to uh, render that out a little bit. Let me just back it off. If I rendered that, I get a pretty good looking model. But another thing I can do, I'm going to just undo, back this off a little bit, take my smooth out and take out all my edges so you can kind of go back and see. Take those off, take those off, take that one off. All right, so we're back where we started. One thing you can do is use the crease tool. So we can go and we can find under Mesh Tools, Crease Tool. And depending on the edge that I choose, say if I want to pull the mesh closer to this, I use the Crease Tool and I can use my select the edge and then use my middle mouse button. And notice how it pulls that geometry up closer to that box. All right? So if I want to pull these edges closer to if I'm going to pull the, pull the mesh closer to these edges, I use this, this tool and I middle mouse. Now, once I've got it selected, it's already on. And if I middle mouse, notice how it's pulling those edges. I'm not even adding any actual edge loops. So, for instance, if I selected this one, I'm not sure why I would want to, but say I did, and I pulled this over. It doesn't seem to want to pull it. It's, my computer's lagging a little bit. Let's say if I pulled this uh, bottom edge. And 
and if I use my middle mouse and pull it, let me go back up here and reset my tool, my crease tool, go back. And if I middle mouse over that, notice how it's pulling that down to that edge. So the closer I get, the, the harder that edge is going to look, and the farther away I add, the more I add. So if I wanted to create a square bottom with this rounded top, I could do that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to object mode. Notice that the object's edges are highlighted much thicker now. Now if I was to smooth this model, much like I had done before, if I look at this right now, it doesn't look any different, right? It doesn't look any different. But if I go in and I smooth this mesh, smooth, and if I add, boost up those, look how that model retains its shape. Notice that I didn't add any more edges to it here. And it gives me just that beautiful model, that beautiful smooth look. And I'll look at the bottom here. Keeps those edges very, very, very nice. Now if I select my model here and I go back to go back to my edges, uh, if, I, if I go back to my object and I go down to my crease tool, I could remove those creases. I could say remove them, uh, of course, and I have my object back. Uh, or I can crease, go back to my crease. If I go again, so that can be a very nice way to add, add a features or a hardness, a little bit harder edge to your model without having to um, add lots and lots of geometry. All right, very good.